Well, this year's Kennedy Center Honors will look a little different because of the pandemic, yet the honor remains the highest tribute a performing artist can receive. CBS 2's Deborah Alfaron takes us inside for a sneak peek. The 43rd Kennedy Center Honors is stepping out, as in outside, for a reimagined performance due to the pandemic. This year's honorees, choreographer and actress Debbie Allen, singer-songwriter activist Joan Baez, country singing superstar Garth Brooks, world-class violinist Midori, and lovable now 95-year-old actor Dick Van Dyke. I keep waiting for somebody to call and say, we made a mistake. <laughs> Dancer Derek Huff previously shared a stage with Van Dyke. We're doing sort of the classic, you know, step ball change, and his knees were easily two feet higher than mine were. Honoree Debbie Allen also gets a high energy tribute. This honor is so important because it reflects the need for everyone to have the arts in their lives. This was seismic. Honoree Joan Baez was an early influence for country folk artist Rhiannon Giddens. One of her songs was one of the first things I ever played on the banjo. Another change this year, the president's involvement. In years past, former President Trump didn't attend nor hold a reception. This year, President Biden returned to the tradition. I got to sit out there in the crowd, stand up, sing along. Wasn't I the king? Grammy Award winner Kelly Clarkson brought honoree Garth Brooks to tears. I was performing and there were people in the seats, not on screens. As we embark on this recovery, we can always bring music into the forefront. Honoree Midori says the performing arts connect us all. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington. And do not forget, you can watch the Kennedy Center Honors Sunday night at 8 o'clock right here on CBS2. The broadcast will also stream on Paramount+. Plus. Stands to be a good one, that's for sure.